Hi everybody, Eric Brandon with Boat Test at Ibex 2024. And a great new product here, this is with Leonard and Blue Nav. It's a revolutionary propulsion system. You're the genius, Leonard. Tell us how this whole thing works, please. Essentially, we are an electric motor manufacturer, but um, we don't design our motors to be used as the main source of propulsion. We're the easiest hybridization method that exists out there. It's an electric motor that you slap on the back of the boat uh, or inside the hull and that allows you to use the best of both worlds. It can be used as a trolling motor, it can be used as a bow thruster, it can be used as a propulsion method. So it's a five-in-one solution. So you can have a single or a double? Yes, it depends essentially on uh, the size of the boat and the use of the clients. It is important to note that with two of our motors, your maneuverability increases drastically. There's no drag in the water, correct? Because the prop goes down, the prop goes back Absolutely. up, and once you bring the prop up, you're traveling at cruise speed, there's no drag on your boat whatsoever, right? Exactly. With retractability, when you go back to the propulsion of your other engine, you can go fast and far without the drag that you mentioned. And this retractability applies on the transom, so on the back of the boat, as well as in hull, uh, for example, in a bow configuration. Now, I understand you've got 25 horsepower or so coming out of this? 15 kilowatts roughly equals 25 horsepower. So it's a pretty powerful solution for a very wide variety of clients. We sell to houseboats, we sell to charter catamarans, we sell to boat builders, and of course, the refit markets. Take me through the process. How do you actually make it operate? We really designed it to have a, a good user experience. You have a thruster, so no, no one's lost here, everyone. You can see on the MFD, by the way, we're compatible with any MFDs, Garmin, Furuno, you name it. So you see that there is thrust on both motors, and you do the direction of the pod with this tiller right here. It's a pod, so it has increased maneuverability. There's another way of using our motor. It's the stern thruster mode, or docking mode, as we call it. Both motors take a 40 degree angle. The tiller becomes both the thruster and the direction. So what happens is the boat can do a 360 on the spot. This works off the boat's battery system, is that correct? It can use the boat battery system or a separate battery pack. The motor works in 48 volts. As we are not in high voltage, a lot of systems integrator can install it without complicated certifications for them to get it. Okay. It's a plug and play. Leonard, I have a question for you. Can this be used as a bow thruster? Well, surprisingly, yes. <laughs> Uh, we did not develop our motor to be used in a, originally as a bow thruster, but it happens that uh, we developed a very, uh, very good bow thruster. How about this gentleman right here? Tell me about this one. So GPK, it's a boat builder who ordered our motor to be used as a bow thruster. Why? Because he wanted a powerful bow thruster, 15 kilowatt motor. He wanted a silent bow thruster, uh, as you know, the, the motor is underwater. It's so much more silent than a, than a conventional bow thruster. With Blue Nav, you've got a way with more power to actually maneuver this boat even better, correct? Absolutely. Uh, 25 horsepower is a lot for a bow thruster. <laughs> so we can really go port and starboard in a port despite a very strong wind. Uh, and of course, more than a bow thruster, we can also go forwards. How about this one here on top? So uh, this, uh, we really love this client. He's one of our original clients. He's a whale watching professional in a little island called Reunion Island that's in the Indian Ocean. He uses our motors to get out of his port space. He's in a tricky little port space. He needs to maneuver. When he's in the ocean, he switches back to his outboard because he has to go fast, far in strong seas. And when he reaches the area of uh, whale observations, he switches back to our motor. He switches back, why? Because he can stay for a long time in the vicinity of the whales without disturbing them, without disturbing also the, the, his clients with the fumes, with the noise. Um, it's a way also not to, not to overuse his uh, engines. I've seen more of the yacht style here being used. Talk about that. Yeah, it's a very different uh, use case really for, for this, uh, this particular catamaran. 
He uses because he's in a very uh, he uses very privileged clients. It's a very exclusive charter that he offers. He uses us because he operates in natural areas which are not allowed for combustion engines. For him, it's important to have the option uh, to cross these natural areas without disturbing the fauna, the flora, um, and offering his clients a calm experience. Our motors with a virtual anchor, you can stay for a long time with a very low consumption at a fixed GPS location. So many applications. And uh, even though the full electric solution is not quite yet ready, the hybrid to the hybridization of a boat is really the, the currently the good compromise for both end users and professionals. Leonard, what an education. A layman like me, I could probably put this on a boat, learn it right away go out and enjoy the water. You're making boating a lot more fun, a lot more interesting. And I really believe you've got a really terrific wonder of a product here. So congratulations to you. Thank Have you a so successful much, show. Thanks for bringing us from France to the US and exposing us in a brand new boating market at IVEX 2024. I'm Eric Brandon. Don't forget, life is always better in a boat.